Sauber. Going G. <laughs> sure, stay okay. Oh, Beric, Mucci Peachy, Revo. Skiba, you move.
Marguerite Poshima? Mm. Mm. Oh, Tinkwell. Corazini quicks a nos? So mau. Poor Norwo Grob. <laughs> Bo fish. Oh. Cribbix. Sacramario. Shippany. Hapanor. Mm. <laughs> Nurbana. Kabul. Kirasha. Chump upon the fez. Niwa. Pample peluche. Pusha Kapoor. Yeah, through ya. But here at Turing, Funobe, Muchi Pichi, Moscalba, Miss Herb, Yo Suevo, you Norg. <laughs> Skiba, you Moob, <laughs> Sorbin Nurgs, Alphanes, Swept Souffle, Zilma Roy. Uh huh. Nupatiana. Numbus tube. Ah, the noob. Dinks too proud. Most of it bad.
Oh, duh. Duh. Chima.
values about. Hi. You didn't have any work either? No. Yes, I'll hold again. Give me my dime call. I texted you. Text, right. Um, I think I actually left my phone at home when I was getting my work, so I, I can go back. Yes, but that would leave me sitting here and waiting, and waiting is not my thing. <sighs> Did I just get a waft of liquor on your breath? No, that is French champagne. It's not actually alcohol. Well, let's leave that conversation for you and your sponsor at some future oh, twist of meeting. Uh, hello? Look, sir, I don't have a 16-digit number on the card because I don't have the card. I am the opening account. You understand? Hello? Please welcome the Pirates Raging Bull. Older. Oh, well, the fans love you. I can hear them cheering for you when 
new treatment to the community of today. Megan, Megan. But this March, you're going to be reprising your role as superhero Darla Dudley in the sequel to Shazam, uh, Shazam, so Fury fun. of the Gods. Yes. Is this a dream role for you to play a superhero? It is. It's so crazy because... I was like watching TV and I was telling my, my ex-husband at the time, I was like, hey, I was like, I really want to do DC or Marvel, something like that. And he was like, well, what are you doing to meet God halfway? Mm -hmm. And I was like, right, I have the faith, but faith without works is dead. Exactly. So I was like, all right, we have our works together. So I started training my body. I started working out five days a week, oh. uh, like an hour and a half a day. And then within a year and a half, I got this call to go in for this audition. Wow. And they were like, hey, you just have to be a 10 year old. I was like, well, that's easy, you know? <laughs> and, then, um, and then I got a call like two weeks later that I got the part. I was like, oh my God. I was like, what is it though? And they were like, it's Shazam. And I was like, was, was Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> and they were like, no, Shazam. And I was like, is Sinbad? And I was like, no. So then I went into the research and it's so crazy because I had just did a workout video six months prior where I stood in front of a, a wall of all the DC comic book characters oh. and I put my arms up in the exact position like that. Uh, that I pose like for Darla when you see the Darla. Uh, Meeting God halfway. Yeah. Meeting God halfway. Yeah. 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 You know, you know uh, you've been very open about your personal relationship and your journey lately. You got the nurse. Ex Wona. You know, the books can be a learning experience. Have you learned anything? And so for me, and, and also I gotta say again, Wolf was very instrumental in that because we had some really good conversations that I needed to have that were um, illuminating for me and eye-opening for me. And so I think in this season, I'm just really excited about what's next. I'm like, all right, well, if you'd allow it, then okay, but well, what's next, Dad? And mm -hmm. um, it, it's exciting for me, Loki. I'm like, you know, I feel like I get to start my life over in some ways and have like a second chance at, at whatever's supposed to be next. And so I'm really embracing that, excited about it, and I don't know what to expect. That's kind of amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. 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 Um, we were just talking to Sarah Michelle Gellar about being in this business so young. I didn't realize you started at four. How have you managed to stay um, so grounded after being a child star? Because we hear all these horror stories about child stars. Um, my mama, shout out to the high reward And God, really, you know, I think yeah. when you have the mindset that, that this is bigger than me yeah. and, and I get to be here, there's a million talented, beautiful, whatever, whatever, but you know, I get to be here. Yeah. So I always make sure that I, you know, show people love, that I look people in the eye, that I make them know that I see it, I appreciate them, no matter what capacity we're working together. And, you know, I just, to me, it's just been always important to make sure that I use my platform for something that's bigger than celebrity or whatever it is, but mm -hmm. more, I think we all have a conjoint purpose, even though we all have our own purposes. Yeah. And the conjoint one, I think, is for us to help each other. It and is. So I try to just stay really mindful of that and, and keep my eyes focused there and be thankful and, you know, well, you sound very grounded. Thank you. And that's why it gets quite well. <laughs> uh, thanks to Megan Good, season two of Harlem premieres next Friday, February 3rd, on Prime Video. And we, of course, will be right back. on key on my to help you save. Ah, 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 Pull a knife. No lights are out. For me, spin on. Two times with Justin Hair. Better than my broom that can push it around. Who made better? Whoa, this is all you. And I love these heavy duty white cloths. They give me the clean power of a mop with the convenience of a wipe. Switching the Swiffer? Totally worth it. Oh, yes, it is. Love it or your money back. 
I'm creating a checklist that makes choosing your cold and blue pills dead simple. Step one, confirm it. Check Kalamazoo? Hey, <laughs> boy. Stevie Flina. <laughs> Tough uh -huh. Wheezy, huh? Uh huh. Yusufaba, Eve of Day, so. Yambalava. Oh, Harp Kazoi? Mm -hmm. Ah, Turupo. Harbini. <laughs> Woo me. <laughs> huh. Rabba Zawa. Huh? Dubao. Ho <laughs> Bula. <laughs> Some advice five years ago going to Eastern College. Yes, it's hard to get my son to school. Yes, it is hard when your finances aren't what you would like them to be. Just work hard and keep going. It, it will pay off indeed. So when you're ready to change your career, Eastern College is here. The price of everything seems to be going up, and it's not easy to find deals. Well, Greco has deals, like the $8.99 unlimited pizza deal, or the two-topping 24-slice party pizza for $21.99. That's less than a buck a slice, and make it a sweet ending with their new Simple Bites. Avocado farmers under attack. This has made you a awesome. Drug Lord seizing control. They're taking over. W5 enters the danger zone. Why did you agree to work with me? Exposing cartel killers. In the green gold rush. And all you don't find with a green hands. Saturday at 7 on TV. A free game. <laughs> it keeps you feeling isolated and alone. That makes you feel hopeless. No this. We are here to help if you want us to. It's never <laughs> too early or too late to ask for help with a drinking problem. Alcohol is anonymous. There is a way out. For more information, visit AA.org and download the meeting guide. <laughs> Tomorrow, Jimmy and Georgia star Brianne Howie is live to talk about what's next for her mega hit boy. obsession that blew up yeah, to become the most scenario. popular Netflix series in the world. The Roby Sabino? We wanted to take a moment to pay our respects to the victims of yesterday's deadly shootings in California and Illinois. You know, there have been 39 mass shootings in the first month of 2023, and obviously, and unfortunately, this topic is not going away, and it's one we'll be addressing again. We're glad that you watched us. We're glad that you came to be with us. We want you to have a great day to take a little time to enjoy the view and really take time to enjoy the view. And we'll see you tomorrow. Nor Vadish. Oh, Vadish. Even Oh, Mech. Huh? Scoomba Chew, Prep Napelzo. Haha. <laughs> Prep, Alachaba Snabo, Arbenduba, and Benea Nuch. Lonep Yub, Jabzor, Muspa Zemna, Chupa. Every day in this country, more than 200 people would attempt suicide. 12 will be. Sinaka! Steve Baba Moo. Including myself. 
She was young, pretty, petite, and reportedly jogging all alone on a deserted rural road. Then what seemed to be a miraculous turn, just three weeks after she went missing, Sherry Papini reappeared. She was emaciated, battered, burned, and bruised. A heavy chain hung around her waist. She was taken against her will, or was she? Was this the real life Gone Girl? Sherry's story captivated the nation. But that's all it was, just a story. The report of a missing wife and mother of two on November 2nd, 2016, who disappeared while out on a jog, shocked the tight-knit community of Redding, California. I found her phone and got hair ripped out of it, like in the headphones. So I'm like totally freaking out. The nation was watching and locals were on edge. We used to walk, me and my husband. And I said, I'm not going to go walk by myself no more. A California mom missing for more than three weeks has been found alive after an apparent abduction. She was bound with restraints, but was able to summon help from a passing motorist who then notified law enforcement. 34-year-old Sherry Papini was taken to a hospital and reunited with her husband after her alleged captors let her go about 100 miles from her home. She was found bruised and tied up with a chain along Interstate 5. Papini was emaciated, weighing just 87 pounds, and had a brand burned into her shoulder. We are looking for a dark-colored SUV with two Hispanic females. After years of sticking to her story that she was abducted by two women, Sherry Papine is reportedly ready now to come clean and admit that she faked it all. Prosecutors say instead of being abducted, she was actually hiding out with an ex-boyfriend in Costa Mesa. Accompanied by her husband, sobbing at times when confronted by police over the false claims that she was kidnapped in 2016 by two Hispanic women, whom she says beat her, when in fact she, with the help of her ex-boyfriend, James Reyes, inflicted the injuries on herself. 
You guys are going to find this so interesting, I promise you. <laughs> For five years, investigators were unraveling Sherry's twisted web of deceit and manipulation. She is finally behind bars, and today we're going to show you the shocking police evidence photos and interrogation tapes that reveal Sherry's lies. Now, I'm joined by Captain John Pat Krupphaller. He is retired from Shasta County Sheriff's Office. He was one of the first on the scene when Sherry was found and went on to lead the investigation relentlessly. Now, also joining the conversation is criminal defense attorney Mark Iglars. It's good to see you again, Mark. Nice to, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, now, uh, Captain, you, where were you when she first disappeared? That's yes, one of those days you don't, you know, forget really easily. So, right. I was a lieutenant in charge of patrol at the time, and I was actually just pulling into my driveway when my uh, patrol sergeant called me. He was on the scene of this of this call, and uh, very very competent investigator. We were detectives together at one time, and he said, "Hey, I need you to come out to this scene." Because what I'm seeing here is not end up. So from the very beginning, did did you smell a rat here? Yeah, there were certain things, especially that night, that uh, some nuances and things that just didn't seem right. And quite frankly, um, her husband, you know, oftentimes uh, or not, the husband's involved in these disappearances. And he actually, his actions and things he did that day kind of were leading us towards him. Let's start unraveling this. First, take a listen to the 911 call Keith made when he discovered Sherry was gone. 911, what is your emergency? Keith, can you transfer? Keith is on the line. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, um, so uh, I just got home from work, and uh, my wife wasn't there, which is unusual, and my kids should have been there by now for my daycare. So I was like, oh, maybe she went on a walk. I couldn't find her, so I called the, the daycare to see what time she picked up the kids. The kids were never picked up. So I got freaked out, so I hit, like, the find my iPhone app thing. And it said that her, it showed her phone, like, at our end of our driveway. We don't have really good service. Okay. Uh, not the end of our driveway, the end of our street. But it just drove down there, and I saw her phone with her headphones because she started running again. And it, I found her phone, and it's got, like, hair ripped out of it, like, in the headphones. So I'm, like, totally freaking out, thinking, like, somebody, like, what's your address? Okay, what's your address? I guess he went driving down the street and he saw these sitting on the side of the road. Yes. Um, and that was another thing that kind of stuck out in my mind when I was talking to him because he had the forethought to take a photograph of how he found the phone. And when I asked him why he did that, he said that um, he'd want to be a detective and thought that it was important for him to take an evidence photograph prior to collecting it. Yeah. Now, knowing all we know now, it's almost scary how convincing she was telling her story to police right after she returned home. Take a look at this and see how convincing she was. I know this is hard. Can you the first day with the zip ties, getting out of them because they were behind, they were behind my back. So I pulled them, I did one of these moves. And that's what this scar right there is from, is the very beginning when I got them off. There was a chain around my waist. Um, so the chain had, okay, sorry, the chain, the chain. So, take care. Let's try the whole room and I'll do that. Sure. Pull it up the whole room. There was this pull. Here, all the way up. Pull oh, is the only reason why I was there. The cable was here. And then I made a turn. I saw it for And then. The cable, I could reach all the way to the bed, could reach the door, could reach the window, could reach the bed. There was a, um, at all times, there was a bucket in the um, closet. That's what I used to go to the bathroom in. The whole time she's saying all this, 
it, it, it's all made up. Yes. Mark, when something like this happens, this makes it tough for real victims, right? Without question. Listen, I would zealously defend her and anyone accused of a crime because that's my job. As a human being, I find her behavior abhorrent. I think that she got off light. I think that she sets back victims in future investigations. And worse, law enforcement. They have precious hours that they devoted to her. And quite frankly, I don't think that she was sentenced enough. Uh, we have to take a break. Coming up, we're going to show you the moment detectives put Sherry on the spot and confronted her with all of her lies. And I really want to ask Mark what he thinks about her talking to them without a lawyer there to begin with. Her response was not what you might think. We'll show you that shocking interrogation tape right after the break. The reason why you lost so much weight is because you stopped eating. The reason why you got a rash on your arm is because you cleaned his house. The reason why the brand is because he went to the store and bought the brand of tools and brand new. And later, when she reappeared, she was pretty beat up. Oh, yes. Really bad. It was actually shocking. And I've seen a lot of injuries in my career. She would have the boyfriend actually knock up the box into her and then use the stick to roll down her skin to create bruising. Tomorrow, it's a story of power, prestige, money, and murder. The name Murdoch is law of the land. This powerful family dynasty was about to crumble. Alex Murdoch charged with double homicide by his wife and youngest son. The injury pattern was not consistent with being hit by a car. I got a flat tire. Somebody stopped to help me and shot me. If I've been shot in the head, I'm going to kind of leave with that. The deep dive into this sudden scandal. Here's the kicker. That's tomorrow. Then on Thursday... Women say when they hit a certain number, they feel invisible. You notice something around 45. It's literally like a cloak of invisibility. That's Thursday. Celebrity Jeopardy, Thursday at 8, 9, 9, only on CTV.
california with an ex boyfriend according to authorities he admitted to helping sherry run away because she claimed she'd been abused by her husband according to court documents the ex boyfriend says sherry asked him to board up the windows so no light would come in during their time together the ex told investigators that he slept on a couch in the living room and she had her own room and that she hit herself to create bruises and asked him to brand her shoulder that's some commitment uh super mom sherry papini's disappearance dominated the headlines when she vanished in 2016 and then showed up alive three weeks later uh sherry claimed she had been kidnapped and tortured by two hispanic women who planned to traffic her uh but while the world thought sherry was a victim behind the scenes investigators were uncovering that she was not as innocent as she seemed after years of suspecting she was making up the details of her abduction investigators had what they needed to confront sherry so take a look at this newly released police statement and we'll talk about it you told us so many truths in this situation the reason why you can describe the room is because you stayed in the room in the dark for hours for days on end. The reason why you lost so much weight is because you stopped eating. The reason why you got a rash on your arm is because you couldn't tap. The reason why the brand is because he went to the store and bought the brand and chose the brand. The reason why your nose was broken is the hot spit. I know all of those things, and I know that it makes sense. I know all of that. Because he passed the ball very fast. That said, it's not an abduction. She asked me if I could No. I rented a car. No. I wouldn't pick her up. He, he passed the ball very fast. Sure. <laughs> what do you think about that looking at it now? Yeah. Um, you know, we had, we had a lot of answers before we went into that interview. So, um, just incredible that given her all these uh, off road off ramps in order to tell us the truth, she just wasn't going to do it. I'm outraged by how nice they were being to her. At first, I get it. At some point, I wanted with words for them to throw her up against the wall and say, You're done, honey. We know what's going on. Why do you think she was allowing herself to be interrogated without a lawyer there? Oh, because she's the smartest person in the room. She's the orchestrator of this whole thing. This is all a master plan. This wasn't someone who escaped from her life and then said, my goodness, I need a reentry plan. This was all planned out from the very beginning. So this was part of it. Her speaking to law enforcement was part of her thrill, part of her, her high promotion of herself. Now, this was all theater. That tape we just looked at in before we went to the break, she's talking about being chained and tortured, mm -hmm. and she's recounting mm -hmm. that, which would be traumatic for anyone. But did you notice when she was drawing it, she was giggling. Play that, just that, just that clip mm -hmm. where she's drawing the chain. Okay, sorry, the chain, the chain. So, you think you're pretty, pretty stupid, right? Yeah. 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 Let's drop the whole room while I do that. Sure. We'll lay up. That's, in, that's mm -hmm. incompatible with what mm -hmm. you would expect for someone right. recounting a, a traumatic situation. We know now that Keith was buying all this for a while. Yeah. So keep in mind when investigators told Sherry that they were on to her, this was a moment that Keith, her loyal supporter, learned that his perfect wife had been lying to him this entire time. So look at his body language in this video. What you're going to see is him physically distancing himself from her. It starts out being two and two, and then pretty soon it becomes three and one. Take a look. This isn't making any sense. That's not making any sense here. The parts that don't make sense. No, the parts that don't make sense are that you're accusing two females who have done to you. The part that you were pregnant, he told me he did. Sit there and no, say, no. I branded her, branded her in her right shoulder, but who does it? I'm told it's how he showed us the letters that match the brand. I mean, if that wall wasn't there, he would be in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> 
here's the shocking part. He hears all of this evidence clearly showing that this was a hoax and she made it up. He then stays with her and believes for two years until she's indicted that this is all legit. I learned that from him. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a time that uh, after this case was over that uh, Keith and I spoke on the phone. He actually called me. And she had told him that the fact that she wasn't arrested after the interview was just, that was just an interview tactic used by the police and that the story was still true. And he bought into that. Yeah. She, was, she was convincing. Coming up, Sherry's family reacts to finding out she lied about her abduction. Um, and then I'm going to show you some more things that I think will jump out at you. We'll back. Her ego got in her way because you would never have let her talk to law enforcement, would you? It may be the number one crisis our kids are facing today. It's seeking to addict them as long as possible to maximize the revenue they can get out of them. We're seeing actual anatomical changes in a direct correlation with how much screen time they're spending. Fill in the blanks. The algorithm, within 2.6 minutes, have started feeding content which promoted self-harm to these 13-year-old girls. Available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Having triplets is amazing. So we switched to the bargain detergent, but we ended up using three times as much, and the clothes still weren't as clean as with Tide. sandwich fruit. Bebe moi.
breaking his silence. The events have been shocking and devastating, Keith Papini says. My current focus is on moving on and doing everything I can to provide my two children with as normal, healthy, and happy of a life as possible. Sherry's sister is also denouncing her. My sister is deeply disturbed. Sadly, despite what she has expressed to the media, she feels no remorse or guilt for the untold damage she has caused. When missing mother, referred to at the time as Supermom, Sherry Papini reappeared just three weeks after mysteriously vanishing in 2016, many people called it a miracle. But even though police were holding their cards very close to the vest, not everyone was buying that story. There was widespread speculation that she might have faked her own abduction and that she was the real life gone girl. I covered this case in depth on my podcast, Mystery and Murder, analysis by Dr. Phil, which is why I'm so passionate about this, because I've really dug into it. So if you're finding this interesting and you want to know more about it, you can check that out. But listen to what goes on here when she's responding to this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's 100% James' DNA. You've been collecting blonde hairs from the room. There's no way it's James. There's no way. Sorry, but it is. Why are you saying this not James? Why are you saying this not James? We were fine. There's no way. And he came and got you because he got us. No. When was the last time you had contact with James? Mother died in 2017. Is that right? I don't remember. Was it before or after the abduction? Before. When was the last time you saw it? person contact we had with him was back in 2006. When you were living in Southern California. I don't know. So, what was the prior to your marriage? It's him. There is no way it's him. It is true. The DNA tells us that it was his well, DNA. Her oh. ego <laughs> got in her way because you would never have let her talk to law enforcement, would you? Nope, because I've been practicing quite some time and the fish who kept his mouth shut never got caught, you know? Keep your mouth shut. What are you doing? And then ultimately she was properly charged with lying to me. One of the things I, I, I found interesting is how with you guys, she tried to own the narrative by answering questions that weren't asked as a way of deflection, like you, you would say, we've talked to James, the ex-boyfriend. He told us he branded you. She his says, DNA all over yeah, our clothing. You, yeah, his DNA. It's been seven years, but it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. But yet you say you haven't seen him since 07, so you've either worn that same sweatshirt <laughs> for the last 20 years right. or yeah. you're lying. And her response is, it can't be him. It can't be him as though... You're telling me he's the one that abducted me. No, that's not what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that the two of you did this together. And she, of course, lied to him and told him he was helping her escape an abusive husband, right? That's correct. Did you ever charge the ex-boyfriend with anything? No, we did not. Uh, he was duped. It, he was definitely duped. <laughs> when all of this is going on, what are, what are you guys thinking? Well... Uh... It's, it's hard. I mean, it's uh, 
a lot of effort went into this case. So and one part of it was we're related that we finally got to the end of the of the road, but the fact that you know we had to re, you know go through this many resources and deal with this much lying and trickery and stuff, it, it was disappointing. I mean, it it was a gut puncher. Yeah. All right, coming up, we got a surprising message from Sherry's mother, Loretta. She says she's been silent, but now she's ready to expose her daughter's lies. We'll hear what she had to say next. I think that's a good example of how this kind of lying, this kind of creating drama, just keeps on wreaking havoc. Are your floors as clean as you think? Try Swiffer Sweeper Wet, a heavy-duty cloth come prepped with a cleaning solution that traps dirt and grime, even hidden dirt you can't see, so it doesn't get pushed around. Stop cleaning, start Swiffering. with our two-year-olds. So naturally, we doubled our little puppy. Thankfully, we also have Tide Ultra Oxy with odor eliminators. Between stains and odors, it can handle double trouble. For Tide's number one stain fighter and odor remover, it's got to be Tide. Who to wake up to smoother, brighter skin day one? Olay Retinol 24 recharges my skin while I sleep. No wonder it was awarded best night cream. Night mode, activated. Olay, face anything. Are you or someone you care about struggling with addiction? You're not alone. In Nova Scotia, there are many people just yeah. like you struggling every day. If it's time for a lifestyle change, Teardown Wellness Center welcomes you with warmth and open arms. The staff here made it very comfortable very quickly. They're extremely friendly, very warm-hearted. The programming made me feel comfortable. The other clients also made me feel comfortable. Nestled in the heart of nature, just 50 minutes from Halifax, we're surrounded by the serenity of the ocean, trees, and peaceful walking trails. The perfect retreat to begin your healing journey. Being in a location overlooking the ocean, that was really important to me. Teradyne is a magical place. I feel my future is a lot brighter than it was before I started. I was in a very dark place. Life has definitely got a lot better, and it's looking even brighter. We can change your life, too. Start your journey with us today. Teradyne Wellness Center, proud supporters of the SWITCH program. Cape Breton Island is calling you to experience the beauty of winter. Whether by ski, snowshoe, or snowmobile, embrace the season and discover the wonders of snow-covered mountains, cozy cottages, and winter adventures. Cape Breton Island, yeah. your heart will never leave. That there is a better way to remodel your tub. Precise measure means the perfect fit. The bath fitter tub over tub process means no mess or stress. A custom made tub and seamless water mean a watertight fit. Premium acrylic means it lasts a lifetime. And all this together means a great value. Bath fitter, it just fits. Visit bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. That's not how this is going to play out. There is a bizarre new twist in the mystery of kidnapped jogger Sherry Papini. 14 years ago, her mom told police that Sherry, then 21, had been harming herself and blaming it on the mother. The mom called the cops because she wants advice on how to handle the situation according to a just-released police log. Another embarrassing police report also reveals that in 2000, Sherry's father told authorities he believed Sherry had vandalized his home. That same day, Sherry's sister reported that her back door had been kicked in, and she believed Sherry was responsible. Well, Sherry Pini's mother, Loretta, reached out to us. She said now that her daughter has been sentenced, she's ready to speak out. She says neither she nor Sherry's father 
ever abused her. Sherry's history of claiming she'd been abused led detectives to believe she was not only a pro at lying, but also at playing the victim. You can see an example of her doing both in this clip. in addition to not being available to answer legitimate calls, resources absorbed when you could have been doing something else, you guys took time away from family, uh, you know, holidays were <laughs> sacrificed because you're out looking and in the field. And how many Latino women were stopped, questioned, harassed? How many other people, when you got the Jesse Smollett's and the Runaway Brides, when they name people of a particular class, a particular race, how they get scrutinized? I think the ripple effect is enormous, and I don't think it was reflected in her sounds. Yeah, I agree with that. And there was a dollar amount associated with this that probably was very conservative, but she has to pay back almost a quarter of a million dollars, right? Over that, yes. We, we expended, you know, over a hundred thousand dollars just that we know of, you know, not to, you know, account for all the time these guys thought about this case. I, I can tell you there was countless times, you know, I'd wake up at three in the morning and we'd be racking our brains, you know, not being able to sleep. I'm, I'm glad you actually brought that up about the, the officers involved. And you can see in one of these tapes, uh, one of the lead investigators, you know, trying to press upon her how much we are on her side, that she can trust us, that he starts to well up in tears because of the stress of her being gone and us trying to find her. You know, it was pretty incredible. You know, when I, when I watched that, I, I, it choked me up the first time I saw it, but she had, you know, didn't matter to her. And she just kind of grinned when the officer was talking to her and his eyes were going up with tears. Coming up, while Sherry was still missing, investigators discovered that she had been secretly texting not one, but two men behind her husband's back. And she planned to meet up with one right before she disappeared. Well, what did they think when they discovered that? Uh, we'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> Washed all day without heavy perfumes? Try Downy Light in Wash Brush with Boosters. It has long lasting light scent, no heavy perfumes, and no dyes. Finally, a light scent that lasts all day. Downy Light. Subway delivery! <laughs> Welcome to the Eat Fresh Refresh, bringing you a fresh new way to get Subway delivery. Order on the app and get $0 yeah. delivery fee. Eat Fresh, Refresh. 
50,000 athletes, 756 nations, and you. Fish squaw. That's come in in Mi'kmaq, which I learned through volunteering. Join a team of 3,000 volunteers for a celebration of sport and culture with the 2023 North American Indigenous Games from July 15th to 23rd. Make new friends and experience new cultures as we welcome Indigenous youth from across North America. Visit NAIG2023.com and sign up today. Jalasi, we're saving you a seat. The countdown to savings is happening now at Ashley. Bring in the new year with new styles for every room of your home. And right now, you can finance your whole purchase with 12 months special financing. No minimum purchase required. Getting your home ready for the new year has never been easier. No matter your budget, these furniture savings are going on now. Only at North America's number one furniture and mattress store. Visit your local Ashley store to celebrate and save today. Ashley, visit our two locations, Atrium, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and Mapleton Center, Moncton, New Brunswick. There has been a dramatic new development in a case in California that made international headlines years ago. A woman who admits that she faked her own kidnapping agreed yesterday to plead guilty to charges of lying to federal officers and mail fraud. Sherry Papini faces potential prison time and more than $300,000 in restitution. They described her assailants as two Hispanic female adults. According to the FBI, she accused the women of brutally torturing her. She specifically picked out a gender and a race uh, to, to name as the suspect. So any Hispanic woman at that time, I'm sure is getting an eyebrow raised and looking in there wondering, oh, what if she could be connected or one of the suspects. The FBI said its investigation indicated it was all an expensive hoax by Babini, costing taxpayers more than $230,000. More than five years after her disappearance by national headlines, Sherry Papini was sentenced to 18 months in prison for her crime. But her story isn't over. On January 28th, Lifetime will air hopes the kidnapping of Sherry Papini. And Sherry probably thought, well, at least she's going to be the hero of the movie version of her life. <sighs> Seriously. Uh, but looks like that's not exactly how it's going to come across. Take a look. Ripped from the headlines. Keith, your wife has been missing for five days. I'm coming, honey. I love you. Breakfast. Yes, please. A Lifetime original movie. Hey, did you have a vision of mental health? Oh, wait, wait. Do it. I deserve it. Sherry, is it true that you faked it? I would just really like to have this all put behind me. Forever. Hoax. The kidnapping of Sherry Papini. Premier Saturday, January 28th at 8 on Lifetime. Not sure that's going <coughs> to get her a lot of endorsement deals. Um, when she reappeared, she was pretty beat up. Oh, yes. That was really bad. I mean, it, it was it was actually shocking. And I've seen a lot of injuries in my career, but it, she had some shocking injuries. That's chain right. around her waist uh, and, and around her wrist, and she had zip ties yes. up on her hands, gouged and burn marks, and then we have evidence photo of her in her hospital bed, and you can see that she is emaciated, she was down to about 87 pounds, turns out she got hit with a hockey puck. She would have the boyfriend actually knock Hockey Pox under, under her and then use the stick to roll down her skin to create bruising. And then uh, he described how she would just run in the walls and throw herself on the ground to create more injuries. And then we've got the brand. And then we said, would, would that say something? Uh, we believe it says Exodus, but you can't read the, the actual letters. Yeah. And this was with a wood burning kit? Uh, she instructed him to go to Hobby Lobby and buy a wood, wood bearing right. kit in order to do this. Yeah, and he said he didn't do all of this. She did it to herself, except for the wood burning. He, he helped uh, give her some of the injuries, and of course this this particular brand, but uh, she did a lot of it to herself. She was committed. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's sick. Yeah, and, and, and just so we're clear, you mentioned she got 18 months in prison. We're talking about federal prison, and there's layers to that. There's a camp where nine violent offenders like her are probably held. So she gets to go to a camp 
She won't do 18 months. You do a half a year or a year and a halfway house. You take 15% off for good behavior at a camp. So someone who wanted to kind of leave the world gets rewarded by leaving the world. It just doesn't make any sense. What time is, how much is she likely to do more? Right. In an actual prison, if we're going to call a camp a prison, because it's not six months maybe, less than a halfway house. Um, it's, it's not much punishment. And if the state system had handled it candidly, I think she would have gotten more time. I think the time would have been more severe. I, I just don't think that she got what she deserved. And the husband stayed with her for a couple of years, right? Yes. And has now filed for divorce? He has, yeah. And custody? Yes, he has. Did he get custody? But right now he has custody, yes. Mm -hmm. well, and they're still going through you know, all that. But, uh, but he stayed with her. And again, it's because <coughs> she was convincing. She convinced him that now we were all the violence. We were just using these interview tactics to get her to say something that wasn't the truth. When did you know? You know there was a point <clears throat> in 2017 that, uh, with this case that she uh, was a turning point for me. And that was an interview that she did with a forensic interviewer. <coughs> and all of a sudden, all these new... Um, facts just started to come out that she just happened to remember um, and one of those things I in the office I quoted or we, we call it the Jason Bourne incident where all of a sudden out of the blue she attacks one of the abductors and gives us a story of uh, incredible story of this fight that she did shoving when she, one of the, her foot. when she hurt her foot and shoving the abductor's head into the toilet and this and during this fight <clears throat> but of course she couldn't remember anything because she never saw a face uh, but it, that was just incredible to me and that was really probably a big turning point for me that hey, this there's something wrong in this case yeah. they found two contacts in her phones that had phony names on them like girls names on them that turned out to be guys correct um, there, was, there was actually a, a person that she was trying to meet up with the night before she went missing that was coming into town but it just didn't work out <laughs> Introducing Icy Hot Pro. Icy to dull your pain. Hot to relax. Get relief because you don't want to sit this one out. New Icy Hot Pro. Rise from pain. to the bargain detergent, but we ended up using three times as much, and the clothes still weren't as clean as with Tide. So we're back with Tide, and the clothes are clean again. Do three times the laundry and get a Tide clean. It's got to be Tide. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There really is something. With Expedia, you can save when you book your flight, hotel, and car as one customized package. So while they're not doing that, you can book everything because you've got a whole lot of nothing to do and absolutely nowhere to be. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by Queen of Me, a brand new album by Shania Twain, available February 3rd. Pre-order your signed copy now. You want to live in your best life? My best life is when I have dragons to slay. You see heavy rains and white half of destruction. I'm sorry, did you say bones? I'm even weirder than the volcano. Nothing is as weird as lava at many goals. Just wait around a minute. Get into a new season of the Nine World One Lone Star tonight, 8 9 only on CTV. 
Supermom Sherry Papini vanished while jogging near her California home in November 2016. Her family enlisted the help of private investigator Bill Garcia. Now, Bill worked for Sherry's family, trying to solve the mystery of her disappearance, and he says Sherry is the first person who ever had him fooled in his entire career, and he joins us now virtually. Bill, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Bill, when, when you got involved, you believed that she, in fact, had been abducted. What made you believe that this was true? Well, initially, all of the evidence that was being presented to the public indicated that she was likely kidnapped or taken against her will. And that's why we traveled up to Reading and decided to launch an investigation of our own to try and ascertain what had happened to Sherry. And when you found out that this, in fact, was a hoax, and you look back, was there something out of sight? Well, our biggest concern was the fact that the ear earbuds were found coiled up on top of the phone, sitting on that top of grass where it could easily be seen from the road. We typically get involved in missing children and abducted children cases. And in this case, we got involved because here were two small children who were missing their mother. So I felt compelled that we needed to help in whatever way we could. The law being what it is, law enforcement did a tremendous job, but they're not able to share with us a lot of information. We have to gain our information from other sources and our own investigation. So we always place that earbud uh, part in the back of our brain to kind of let us know that, hey, there may be something funny here. It wasn't until after... Um, she was charged that we learned uh, what the truth was. So 